I'm not done yet. Oh yeah. Do you good. feel the burn for real? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that dream. One hit killer. Oh my gosh. Dude, the spider webs down here are so unbelievable, dude. You don't even get it. Babe, you can't be bringing Bud Widow's soap, dude. Oh my god, they're all over you! Nuh-uh. <laughs> 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 they're all over you! Doll, you never show me nothing but kindness. She would say, I know how sad you get. And some days I still get that way, but it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Woo! What is up, everyone? Here we are. Nice, fresh morning in paradise. Another beautiful day in paradise, as they say. As I say. It's super nice out now, but I guess it was really cold in the night because everything's like frosted over. If you can see that. And I guess it was a bad idea leaving the furniture in the back. Because it got this glazy frost on the top of it. Which I can kind of wipe off. Looks like this is coated enough that it didn't get ruined. But. Yeah. It'll be good. It's a little bit crazy though that it got so frosty. Look at that. It's like snow. Must have been freezing out. But. Here's what we're doing. Big scrap load we're about to pick up with the dump trailer over at the house where we got all the X-Files stuff from. And I'm about to unload this stuff into the trailer for the flea tomorrow, I guess. What's today? No, today's Thursday. Flea on Saturday. So, that's what's going down. About to pull this chair out here. So all this stuff going right to the flea, which is just boxes of goldies. This Polaroid is kind of cool. Might be a non-flea-like sale. Little lamp, Spanish-style like clay-looking lamp, which I don't think it actually is clay, but box of goodies we got. The Indiana Jones Trilogy, which is a great movie, all of them. The OG ones, the new one's good too. But some 45s records without cases. But sometimes this stuff's worth money. Can't say that it's not, because we've sold them before. Pretty easily, actually. Ocean's 12. Good DVD, no case. We got some like metal brackets and toilet paper holder metal thing. I can probably slip this in there. That we got. These are some wheelchair like legs, which I think might be flea life, flea market life, but. If not, scrap. I'm gonna try them at the flea first. We got a box of Christmas stuff. I think I showed you guys that yesterday. Uh, VCR. Fax machine. Tripods. Which might be worth holding on to one of these. This one, they all have the tops on them. They're actually pretty decent. I might just keep them all, actually. Considering what we do every day. We got this wild picture of someone tightening a corset on this woman. It's got wet on the front, but even just the frame's worth a dollar or two. 
more Lennox, Christmas style. Cups and bowls. These are like uh, accessories for a stove. Like the burner tops, brand new. Whole box of tapes and cords and remote controls. That one has like a is that a phone? Phone. This shelf, which is actually pretty cool. Almost looks like a spice rack, but it's more like taller than spices would be, I think. That's a good fleet market piece. The nice thing about this is usually when the tripods, they're missing these top pieces. But this this one and this one aren't, and then the third one, the top piece is just part of the tripod, so I'll probably hold on to all these for now. I don't know if I showed you guys. So I think this table is fine. But look how much of that snow Jack Frost is on here. This is crazy. This, I don't know if I showed this yesterday, but this is one of those old Polaroids. And it has all these little flashes and bulbs in with it. And you would just take one of these bulbs and it would go off. And that would be it. One bulb, one kill. Orange filter. One hit kill, a one shot, one kill. And you'd have to change the bulb again the next time you wanted to use a flash. This might be worth something on eBay. Even just for parts, maybe. So this seems fine. This is a nice entertainment system. I was claiming 50 bucks yesterday. I'm still at that number in my head. And this chair, maybe 30 it's a lounger, but chairs like this are hard to move for the most part. All right, so we got this pile of straight up gold right here that we had aired out through the night. I think that this New World Order embroidered jacket, couldn't find it anywhere online. The double XL size of it makes me know that it's worth money because most of the ones I saw were either large or XL maybe. That's like a $200 jacket. Maybe $120. I was, I was saying $120 to people that messaged me on, on Instagram because I just wanted to move it quick. But I think on eBay it could go for over $150. This jacket is actually probably worth $100 also. I would think. Just the way it looks and how like thick and warm it looks. And just the style of it. True vintage. Like, you can't, like, copy this style to the, the exact. You can try. Nasty, dude. Ugh. And then we got a true vintage champion t-shirt, which is actually really cool. X-Files jacket. This Eagle starter jacket with the hood is worth about 300 I'm gonna eBay that though, because I can't be dealing with people on low boss status if I posted it to like anywhere local. Some would be trying to spend like 20 on it, knowing they were gonna resell it. So I'm just gonna sell it on eBay direct. Cause I know it's worth money. Maybe two. I mean if someone offered two for it right now, I'd probably sell it. But I saw a bunch of these on up to like 400 they sell for 450 sometimes on eBay sold listings in the last like couple months even so with the hood this is true this is a starter jacket so 
trimmer. And then I haven't looked up either of these yet, but this is a starter's Lakers jacket and this is an X-Files uh, like fan jacket type of thing, which actually I think is really cool. But this pile here is like $500 and we got it out of a dumpster. So can't deny that. That's awesome. This stuff here was trash picked. But I'm taking it to the flea. Nice little box of goodies that hopefully we sell. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning. I haven't had my coffee, but these You're are You're making my claims cleans. anyway. So I'm going to take a picture of this. Actually, I'm just going to take it on my regular camera. Before we start our day. I just, we already took pictures when we were at the house. Turner did, but he didn't take a picture of the feet. And that's what, that's what I think is the most special about this chair. All right, what's up everyone? We woke up fresh today. We, I just was filming for a little bit, but we realized we scored a mega haul. I'm claiming, estimated at like $1,000. I think I showed some of these already, but this pile was all pulled out of a dumpster at a house that was just sold. It's getting sold today. Settled Settlement on. is. But the real estate company was trashing everything in the house, regardless of value or steez. And so this is what we got. Duke, Blue Devil, Vintage, Nutmeg by Campry. Don't really know what that is, but haven't valued this one yet, but I think easily 50. That jacket's cool. For someone who wants it. This, coolest thing, one of like three of the coolest items we ever trash picked. Maybe five. New World Order, wrestling, denim jacket. It's a double XL, which I thought was super unique because a lot of them online are like small, large or small or not small, not but like smaller X. than double X. Yeah, like large. Like to find a double X is is crazy because the rest of these to find are that like jacket large. at all actually is crazy. What am I talking about? This is a true vintage like denim coat. I would call this a coat, like a on winter coat because it's super thick it's like a double that jacket better. reminds me of like a 90s video like music video yes right perfect look what was in the pocket that i just showed on my instagram Ugh. look at that i checked the pockets and i knew that was there and he was just like digging his hands in there look at that dude tom's a little acid indigestion during so your, <laughs> your thrift mission and you need to pop some tom's that's still worth 50 at least. Yeah, that this, jacket's nice. This was the score. So, this thing's worth 350 Oh bro. my god, it's literally so nice. Eagle starter jacket, truly vintage, with the big eagle on the back. I wouldn't say it's in mint condition, but XL is a good size too. And it, when the zipper goes across, it has this flary, like, starter symbol thing that comes out. Either way, it's so nice. It's worth 300 Use all that. Los Angeles Lakers yellow starter jacket official. The little logo is all over it. This is from probably the early 90s too, if not before that. Vintage. This is like a size medium now, I think. Right? Yeah, it's a it's small. Like honestly, if I I would keep that jacket if it was a like triple X, maybe double X. Made in the USA. But it's just it's. I don't know what size. It doesn't even say. Those jackets are weird. Yes. Small. That jacket's really large, cool, actually. This is an X Files super fan jacket. I might just use it for a little bit unless someone buys it right off the bat. X Files. This is from the '90s. Totally from the 90s. When the show was on air originally. Mm -hmm. And then champion, champion t-shirt. True vintage t-shirt. Because the material is so weird. There was a couple other ones actually and the guy started using them for rags. <laughs> really? He spilled water on the ground out of the washer. And he 
mop. I was like, no, just let me get the championship. the floor with vintage t-shirts like it was no big thing. <laughs> Straight up, the real estate guy. You should have got that on film. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. We're going to go scrap now. So stay tuned to another huge mega scrap load. All right, locked and loaded with the trailer. On the back. Brat. You're a brat. And it has like a couple, three, four hundred pounds of scrap in it already. And we're about to go pick up everything from that house that was outside yesterday. So, scrap life. You're mean. All right. Just showed back up here. And this is the scrap load we're about to put in here. So, pretty decent load. Almost took out the dumpster, you say? Or no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see. That's a nice truck. It's so cool. <laughs> cool. How crazy it is. This is, you think this is scrap life or sale life? I don't know. Dust life. <laughs> I'll go ask him. Are you really going to ask him that? Yeah. So this guy had so much work to do. Cleaning out this house, he filled this whole dumpster yesterday. That she's going to there to ask him if he just slept here to finish. Crazy. It's so, so heavy. heavy. I knew that already. Oh my god. I, I went to scoop it up with one hand I and I was like, you. what? We just need to have room for the fridge at the very back. This creepy string. Is that creeping you out? Yeah, because it almost hit me in the face. What is this thing? Bro? It's like a uh, like a canvas holder for like a mirror, like or like what? for like a mirror. Like it holds something or a picture. Oh, yeah, right. Scrap now. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, that goes to the chair, to the table. the table. That was a cool set. Oh well. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Get Should it. I try using this? Yeah. Alright. How do you use it? Like this. Oh, I know how to use it. Wait, I can me. use it. Huh? Like straighten this out. Oh yeah, but you can just straighten it, straighten it out. Uh, yeah. All right, watch. So this thing is gnarly, like. Do you use these ever? I might keep this, like. No, yeah. you wouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to keep it? Wait. Yeah, I might keep this. Cause it's... guys, I feel the burn. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so easy. You gotta do it. Let me try it. Wait. I'm not done yet. Oh, yeah. It feels do you good. feel the burn for real? Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it in my stomach. Oh. You should take that. Uh huh. Take it home and use it, right? Or no way. I mean, it looks like this guy never used it if you saw the pictures. But. <laughs> he sure, he it's sure, new, so he, he was use flexing it. in the one picture I should have showed you guys. It was so You can't show pictures like that of people's like, personal life. In the mirror, and he had a white beater on. It was so classic. I wish it was two nineties that a show. Yeah, it was like, dude, gotta get this back to him. He would want to frame that picture. It was so, it was like glorious. What? <laughs> I said, yeah, I might keep this and work on my abs. You should keep that it. That I'll never have. I don't. I don't think it's uh 
I don't like abs to be honest, but it it tightens your stomach, which is, oh my god, <laughs> maybe we'll just um. <laughs> it's so rude, are you kidding? <laughs> You're not doing it right. I don't need to do it. Let's no. Get out of here. I would suggest keeping it. I'm keeping it because I don't actually use it. I'm saying you can even leave it outside. It's not going to get racked. Yeah. And just do it out there. Do it outside. Once a week. Can move this back? Does this go to it though? Is this part of it? I think. I could resell this too. We could definitely resell the total gym. Dumb kids in the world. It's my dumb kid trap. There's some hungry man in here. I'm hungry, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, scrap load. That we're about to dump. Big dog load. Big light iron dog load. Are you a scrap expert now? No. No? I'm not. You can bring this home. Oh my god. That bed's traumatizing. Bed bug city. Comes with bed bugs. <laughs> So, me and Turner are such like creature lovers that we always keep an eye out for the homies. In this case, worms. The only problem is they're just gonna get eaten up by the birds once I scrape all this. See the worms out? He just fell. He's not killing them. He's literally just scraping the dirt off. No, I'm scraping them off. Oh too. my gosh, you'd never understand how big the What is it? A spider? Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Where? Right there. That little guy? He's not little. He's not little. Is the jumping bee? Is he jumping? He's over there now. Ah! Oh, it was a twig. I'm good. Freaking out a little bit. Mm -hmm. By trying to save the worms, I was just providing a nice meal for the birds. <laughs> you can shove that in there and then put the plastic here, like the bottom. Oh my god, I, I just can't believe how big that spider was. Strong like, like ox. <laughs> you got your warrior. worm dirt on you? Celtic warrior. <laughs> like Danny Green. Greek god. Alright, we just pulled up to the scrap yard. This guy's just using this car for a rake. <laughs> he is, watch him. Rake him up, rake him. Here, grab this. Why do they have hay bales right there? Rake line. Oh shit. We're not supposed to get on yet. It's a rake in line. 
Negative 10. Don't play with me. Man, you pulled it over there. You got it? Alright. You want to dump this stream? Yep. Let's do this. You can just pull it out from there, I think. Oh. Just move out here to the... Because the, if that thing somehow popped off of there, it would, suck. It would smoke you. My tooth would be... The other tooth would be chipped. <laughs> like 13 here it is 1365 pounds and it's 650 six six and a half cents a pound so it was light iron $88.75 not bad for just a scrap load thought it I actually thought it was gonna be like a hundred but that's pretty close so here we are back at the house I grabbed these two bins here I think these are good, better than cardboard boxes for the flea. And then I can just give them to people if they buy stuff and want to haul it away easier. Because uh, these milk crates are actually really nice to have. But I scored this thing too, this little guy. And this is definitely from the front of some kind of a car. I really don't know what, Firebird or something? I'm not sure, but it's really cool. I think that might be a $10, $10 flea market claim. Snag this aluminum gutter from the house. And more wire for the wire collection. The wire collection's actually getting really thick over here. I just wanna see how much I can possibly collect before I cash in on it, but look at this. All this, all this. In this trash can that I'm filling. Crazy. Crazy. Whew. So another successful scrap mission for the dream. And so here's what we're gonna do. We are about to film something else for a different video, so it won't be in today's video. But after that we're gonna head out to EHT, Egg Harbor Township and look at a foreclosure trash out that we're being sent to to, to bid. Um, and we're gonna show you guys that too, so that should be pretty exciting. Uh, saw some of the pictures 
already because the guy sent them to us and it looks like it's a lot of work so the bid might be high I'm not sure but pretty much the bottom line with the foreclosures this year so far we did a bunch we did a couple but we've been bidding them more worth our time because it's a lot of work and we have not been getting as many so this is cool actually made in China surprising this looks really old but uh, have been not getting as many as we did last year but we were breaking our backs uh, for low prices last year so you live you learn and we're not trying to do that again because it's really, really heavy work long hours dirty work everything's contaminated and we need to start charging more. That's just the bottom line for repair and maintenance on the vehicle. A trailer, that costs $5,000. And we have to start getting dumpsters for the most part because uh, we can't continue to just keep dumping without the proper paperwork. So that's the claim. So foreclosure trash out bid will be the next thing you guys see. Stay tuned. All right, I said before we were going to go check out a foreclosure property. And here we are. This place, a little bit heavy to deal with. It's a restaurant and a house, but we're only doing the house part. But if the outside is included and all that stuff's involved, this is a heavy job. All right, without even getting out of the car. Here, you want one of these? Yeah, that would be nice. Mandatory for the way this place looks. You got gloves. Right. I guess this used to be Mill Road Pizza and Subs. That's what it used to be. So it was this little mini restaurant, which is actually kind of cool, and they, I guess, live next door, but they couldn't pull it off. check out this boat first because this is a complete burden. No way. They put this thing back here in like 2000 and never moved it. So the boat, this pile of junk, all trash so far. I haven't seen one thing I would even think was cool for a second. A massive, unreal load of trash in the shed. TVs. Stacked. It smells like someone died in here, to be honest. Can you hold this for a second? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing something potentially really epic though. Are you looking at... Uh.
Oh my god, does that say Mill Road? Mill Road, that's no. the claim right there. That uh, has a number on it. Pickers, boys, picking it out of the shed. A shed that smelled like someone died in it. They have a lot of, is there a dead cat? No, I did. Maybe. Why do you say that? Just because there's a lot of dead cats. There is a lot of cat beds. Like, and this was closed. It wasn't open. Like, a cat would have had it. And there's a hole. There's a hole in the back. For the cat. What's in the back of this shed? Like a weird building for the cats, too. There's definitely stray cats in here. No doubt about that. What is this? These are some vintage Christmas decorations. A typewriter. There are definitely cats around here. Yeah. I don't, unless they took them. The way they left this place, though, it doesn't look like they took anything like that. No. This place is foul. I can already tell. Yep. Maybe even open this thing. It's like terrible in here. So there's like ridiculously creepy vibe in here. So there's a ridiculously creepy vibe in here. I said there's a ridiculously creepy vibe in here. Believe it or not. Oh no. I'm so happy I have this mold mask on right now. This place is highly contaminated. Potentially someone died in here. Look at this green carpeting. In this bed with this. Oh man. This isn't good. I guess he just ripped it off. He didn't go down there. Would you? Is he or him? Borderline the scariest thing I've ever seen. I can't, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I can do that. Look at the maggots. Where? Oh my god. That's not a good sign. I can't. The maggots all right there. Is that what those are? Yes, that's exactly what those are. No, they're not. Yeah, do you smell them? No, they're not, because come look at them. Hmm? Are they? They're like weird bugs. Let me see. What is that? A snow spider? <laughs> uh. Lingardian Liviosa. No, this is not going to work right now. Do I need some magic to go in here. Your pet's just spinning on this Oh, there's nothing down here. This is like some, oh my gosh. Dude, the spider webs down here are so unbelievable, dude. 
You don't even get it. Babe, you can't be bringing Bud Widow's soap, dude. Oh my god, they're all over you! Nah. <laughs> That's what I scared all over dude, you! They're all over your head! 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 No, babe! There's so many spiders down there, dude. I'm talking like eight-legged freaks. Like the dude from Harry Potter with all his boys. <laughs> Dude, it was so crazy. Guys. The spider that's in the forest. You don't even get it. Argon or whatever. Argon. Can you get the. I'm not touching that. What are you, crazy? How do I get it off? I didn't tell you to walk into them. Dude, walk into them. It was, <laughs> it was everything in the whole place, brother. There's uh, like those weird, like, snow spiders down there. Those are eggs, dude, not snow spiders. Ew, ew, ew. Alright, so that's the whole property and then in here so I guess the porch is the easiest it's the it was for sale I guess that was almost laughable So that's that's a really heavy job. I don't know. Seems a little unrealistic to even do it. Not really, but for less than a couple thousand, it's not worth it. Cause look at all this. Concrete bed, massive soaked furniture. I was saying it was unrealistic to do it for a price it's going to beat out the other person is what I meant. Because I know that there's other bidders that just will do this for like 700 And that's not worth it for me. For us. <laughs> that's it. Picnic table can stay probably. Alright, so you guys just saw the foreclosure we just bid. We bid it really high because it was horrible, moldy, haunted. Someone definitely died in there. No doubt in my mind about that. Um, to be honest, a lot of people probably in the comments are gonna say it's not that bad, but it was horrible in there. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, hopefully we get the job and we'll do it if we do get it, but we're definitely gonna get a dumpster and it needs probably two dumpsters. There's a boat in the yard with a trailer that's totally rusted out and that's gonna be Probably a full day just on the boat. Maybe chop it up and put it in a dumpster. Maybe chop it up and put it in a trailer. And maybe possibly roll it out of there on the trailer that it's on. But who knows, we might not even do it. There's other people out there that bid these jobs too. So this one is one that we will safely bid high knowing that someone will probably outbid us just because it's not a loss if we don't get the job. It's kind of, uh, if we get it good, because our price will be high enough to make it worth it. If we don't get it, it is what it is. But uh, you guys saw that big scrap load we took today. That whole load was only not even $90. It was less than $90. So you gotta figure anyone that is out there living the scrap life is working their butt off just to make that money. Because that was a huge monster load and it was actually hurt my back load and all that so you got to figure um, the scrap life and everything we do is all about the hustle you got to just keep pushing and every day has to be something new um, or you get left behind so that's what the claim is keep pushing everyone the dream is real and you know you never you never you never know what you can get out of life until you try until you go for it so go for it ending words so we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more claims you all right what's the claim sammy all right the claim is good night or good morning and um if you haven't you can still order the coffee before claims hats and the patches that we just got in so this one they are iron-on patches so it's a really cool this one's really cool these look really cool and like the back too. Like, we can. But we do plan on getting some snapbacks 
for these and for those and maybe beanies for both because we got a bunch of patches and if we have to we'll order more but they are on our website it is, is uh, scraplife.bigcartel.com so peace woo. you <laughs> and I said woo I'm so exhausted literally in that house that we we showed you guys the house that we bid like it does I guess houses like I've said before look better on film only if you've done this type of work do you know how terrible it actually is and it doesn't just like wear on you physically um, because there is mold in the house and it's dirty obviously but it weighs on you mentally like hard way harder than physically so I don't know if anybody else can relate with that but just know that it is worse than it looks and good night what do you say I didn't say anything yeah you did oh let's go grab this scrap from be Colt's dad is what I said and bring my coffee Are I you... can't be making claims if I don't have coffee yeah you can no I don't coffee baby ready I'm ready I stay ready just like MJ MJ stays ready he ain't playing. We don't play, right, MJ? Pop up. No, we don't play, right? We don't play. That's my boy right there. Easy straight. Alright, we got a cast iron tub. This is like... Alright, so here it is. He broke it apart for the dream. It's crazy because you can see like how it has the stamps on all the cast iron from like the mold number and everything so the amount of like work and passion that actually went into building bathtubs back in the day oh, I wish I had a cast iron bathtub well at least your shower liner would stick to it <laughs> that's true we have this fiberglass um, bathtub so like I buy the liners like I switch them out every like two months or when it's looking crazy or whatever and like the magnets at the bottom of the line are never stick so it's just like when you're taking a shower the thing's like hitting you <laughs> this is so heavy is the reality of it well if you didn't want to be such a big dog i could have just helped you with it go to the house and throw the fridge and stuff on that's in the side yard and True. then just take it to the yard because <laughs> I can't be taking this back out of the truck you know last piece this one's not as bad whoever took this out of there that was a beast hi you want that or no? the cast iron does he want that or no we got it already <laughs> does he want it oh we got it. Oh, jeez. Who took You're it an out animal. Of there? You took it out of there? <laughs> no, no. I had a plumber guy. Because that was it heavy. It was heavy. That but was it, gnarly to get out of there. Kevin had to help me carry it out here. Whoever took it out of the house and put it here was a beast. Me and Kevin. Well, oh, you guys, guys did it? I had to carry Yeah, I couldn't carry I couldn't carry it all. You got a shed finally. Finally. Awesome. Seven it looks fifty good. Home Depot. It's a it nice too. shed, though. Looks good, dude. Yeah, it's not good. They charged me like, I had to pay the guy 300 to. To, sheds to move it to bring yeah, it here right. yeah yeah but that's not bad he lined it up and all that yeah yeah i know moving stuff like that's a project too all right thanks do you want any junk on the front what do we got <laughs> the bathroom tear out where is it's it on the front porch no i didn't see it is <laughs> there metal the in there or no huh no metal uh, other than the toilet probably not Down you may have to rebag them. Yeah. I would just put it out and see. Put it out tonight. And then tip them like you were saying. Yeah, if I'm here, I want to give them money, like 20 bucks a guy or whatever. All right, well, thanks for the best. Thank though. you, yeah. If you ever have any metal, you know. You like me you like heavy metal. Any metal, <laughs> really. Look at this little guy coming out. I know. The little guy. Little cherry tree, huh? 
That's a nice cherry tree, though. I might need you for some serious painting. <laughs> All right, yeah. we can do it in like a, in a couple months. Yeah. We're gonna get, you know, a you're gonna finish guy. up the house. Uh, yeah, I do actually. Decent. Yeah, good one. Yeah. He does union stuff. Really? He might be a little pricey, but probably I don't know. He's good though. Yeah. I'm not good at cheat rock. No. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, I do know a guy. He does rock and insulation. He does. Yeah, he does. That's my cell. Oh, okay. You got a car. That's a company I work for, but that office number's not right. It's supposed to be six staples. Okay. It's time to call my cell. And, uh... Alright. I got some small rock and big rock jobs. Alright. If he's interested. If not, no problem. Yeah, I got you. He probably is. That stuff's nasty. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had to cut it out with a torch. Did he do that? Yeah. Yeah, I've broken them apart with a sledge, but they come in oh uh, my God. pieces that are, they get that's smaller. Gotta, that's got to be a sledgehammer. It's a burden, is what it is. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad All you right, got it. Later. See ya. What's up, my friend? How are you? Some scrap? Yeah. I think, to me it is, it's just electric. You know, I'm not an electric guy. That's a Black & Decker, huh? That's a dream right there. Right? You can put it right here. I'm going to just put it in the truck. About to go there in a little bit. It looks pretty, don't it? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay. Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going out to, it's going to the scrapyard, I think, at this point. Cause I don't, I can't sell it and I can't store it. Hello. Hi Benny. How are you doing? Good, how are you? And this um, too, okay. this, everyone keeps telling me, oh, that's Enlarger. worth money, that's worth this, that, yep. but I, I can't sell I mean, maybe on eBay, but it doesn't. It was, but it's antiquated. It doesn't work. You know, either. photography is all just, I mean, it's so, the digital age is just unbelievable with it. In fact, I, when my wife was working, I got so carried away with the, programs for the computer you know like I, I bought a is it, oh there she goes again <laughs> it ain't him it's her uh <laughs> i got a real good program like photo suite or whatever yeah, yeah. i have taken people her mother and father at her wedding were standing apart a little bit i put them right next to each other and i would define you to look at that picture and tell me if that's been altered. And no one could tell the difference. Absolutely no, yeah. not. What, is, what was it, Photoshop? I don't know which one, but I'm telling you it had more things to do with it than shake a stick at. Uh-huh, they, they call it Photoshop now. You really had, I mean, you really had a photo studio right there in your house. I've never used it before, and but... Get, like, what would be the reason to ever use it? I mean, I guess for like the way it looks. Like, oh, yeah, but like, I mean, you like have the digital. printers that are so good today, and, digital. and you use so the photo, easy. the photo uh, paper, right? That you should use, but. and get all the dots per inch. I mean, it's as good as anything. Uh, yeah. Do you want a whole lot of bicycles? All metal, right? Yep. Yeah. I am about getting ready. I'm got to clean stuff out, and I like that. That is really nice. You want that thing? No. It's kind of cool, <laughs> but it's a little bit, it's ruined. Yeah, like but I mean, well, so one little it. thing is missing. So what? It still looks beautiful. You think we could sell that? Beats me. It, it is yard sale, but where you're going, you can do anything. Where is that we're going? Well, to, to the moon. Well, I don't know. Is he, no, take, is he taking you to the moon? I don't want to go there. You don't want to go to the moon? Too? No, <laughs> I'm good on that. You're not blasting off? Right? No, not, not they me. They're sending people to Mars now, didn't you know about yes, that? Yes, I do. People got their flights booked. No, they already got a colony there. And the other... Uh, they got their flights booked. <laughs> the other... The other uh, no, that one guy... Elon is, Musk. Is it Branson? Oh, Charles Brans Bronson. Bronson. Yeah. The Virgin okay. Mobile dude, right? But yeah, oh yeah, big bucks. But he he had flights to the moon for how long? No one ever went there. Well, not yet. Not even not the yet. astronaut, not even Neil Armstrong. Well, 
I, you know, I would not doubt that at all because why is the flag standing out when they tell us there's no wind on the moon? You tell me. That's true. You're right, Benny. <laughs> you know they Smart faked man. that in the studio. I'm not right at all. <laughs> I know that the moon landing. I'm not right at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm like off key a little, you know. No, I know. Aren't we all? I know they they made they filmed that in the studio. We know that already. Where's he going? Arcade fire. No. What's that? A bomb group. A bomb group? No, like a you know, just a singing group from Canada. A whole bunch of people playing all kinds of crazy instruments. What about it? No. All right, I should listen to it. Don't don't run over my neighbor's trash cans. <laughs> See, Benny. Arcade fire. That guy's a god. Pretty much. All right, so we got this fridge that we're gonna scrap. So this, getting this cast iron tub fueled a scrap load. So we're doing it, we're going for it. Here's the scrap load we got. Freezer, big freezer, bike, lawnmower, this TV stand thing, that metal trunk that we picked out of the trash yesterday and that table, and then this cast iron bathtub that's probably like 400 pounds. So if I had to guess, maybe $40 for this load. I don't know for sure, but we're gonna take it now. All right, here we are. Just pulled into the scrap yard. About to drop this load. Good, good old whitey over there. And we just got a call about a huge pick that we're about to go to. Could be massive. He was getting my hopes up a little bit though. But maybe for good reason. So we're gonna go over there right after this. And literally spring cleaning scrap has already begun because we were just here the other day. Not a single scrapper out. Now there's two people, one on the scale, one behind them, and one guy unloading his truck over there. So, the scrap claims are coming in. What's the claim? Are you getting excited about this pick? Yeah. I I don't think he was getting your hopes up. When somebody says action figures, though, now I'm like... Just because, like, they're not as easy as it would... Even in the box, they're not as easy to sell as you would think unless they're special action figures. Like, they have to be that specific one. They're easy to sell at the flea, though, for the right price. That's the thing. At the flea market, they are. Yeah. Liquidation of them, though. All right, let's see this scrap dream right here. Honestly, if you just film, it would be better for everything. Okay. I'm not gonna argue with that. Just watch, watch out while I push this out there. It's gonna go down. I know. Oh! Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I guess I gotta get on the other side. No. 
Look at that Volkswagen, that's the, the, the people's car, right? Looks like the Hitler one, just not red. Not. All right, we'll put the cast iron in here, see with all the radiators. Someone brought a tub here. One of these tubs here, cool. Two of them. Don't hurt yourself. Whoa. the wind 43 bucks so I was on point I said 40 all right sorry that video ended a bit abruptly um, there was more footage from that day but we used it for the X files memorabilia uh, end of that video because it was us showing all of the stuff that we got out of the dumpster so thank you guys for watching and we are sorry that we haven't been doing daily uploads um, regularly but it has become over the top too much work and I've been focusing more on making longer videos that come out about four or five times a week instead of seven days a week. So stay, you know, bear with us and we are sorry for that, but that's just how it's going to be. Doing a daily upload every day is nearly impossible for me with the schedule that we have. But the dream continues. We're pushing every day and we're filming every day. so. Stay tuned and there will be more videos all the time.